had that game locked up. But then they got torched there in the final period. Here we go. So the Clippers win the tip. And here in the middle of the season, these teams really coming into their own right now. They found their identity and know what they're all about, Grant. Well, oftentimes that's what happens. I mean, these guys have had the time to gel and get to know how they like to play. And at this point, it's all about going out night after night and just executing. James can't get it to go. Jackson outside. Pass to Leonard. Yes! And a nice assist from Jackson. How about that? Yeah, from Reggie Jackson. Right on the money, folks. The Lakers call timeout. making a change here. And just one of the most impressive titles in league history, guys. The 2020 Lakers winning it all in the Orlando bubble. A testament to LeBron James and that team. Pass to Morris. Oh, and a slam dunk by Morris. Well, Paul George is such a solid all-around player. This guy can score at an elite level, and he passes it well, too. You know, that 2020 bubble title for the Lakers, what made it so difficult? You know, B.A., the mental grind of all that time in the bubble. Three months in the same place. NBA players are used to being in four cities in a week. So it really was a different kind of challenge for them. A strong finish to cut into that lead a little. And left no doubt with that one, Grant. And that's unbelievable. Davis sky high doing his thing. Jackson outside. Fires for three. And Morris gets the three. Morris has got eight. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. Pass to James. Ooh, LeBron! with the slams. That is why the ticket price is what it is when LeBron is in town. Amazing dunk to finish the play. Here's George. Oh, got a piece of it. Now here's Jackson. Leonard outside. Back to Jackson. Clock at four. Knocks it down from distance. And early on, they've been on a tear. Just getting whatever they want offensively. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip. And guys are making their shots. That's critical. Back to James. And he drives in. Oh, LeBron hammers it home. Oh, at six foot eight, it's easy to forget how good his handles are. But LeBron creates easy opportunities for himself. And you look at the career that LeBron has put together. One of the all-time greats. Amazingly lived up to the hype he had coming out of high school. Now here's George. In his last outing, 16 points for him. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. First personal foul. It's on Rui Achimura. One of the things that's been said before, but it's so accurate, Paul George's ability to improve himself is really quite remarkable. This guy is always looking for ways to add to an already stellar game. 
Man, the immense pressure LeBron has had since day one of the NBA. Many others would have folded, Grant. The very true B.A. The expectations he had were just insane. Anything less than a top five player all time would be a disappointment. That's not fair to ask of any player coming into the league, much less a high schooler. And James throws it down. Well, you love to see LeBron James being aggressive, chases down the board to create a second chance opportunity. Pass to Batum. Here's Powell. Kennard on the wing. Shoots over Walker. Kennard can't get it to go. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. Personal foul. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Clippers? Yeah, their early focus on outside scoring has paid off. They're finding plenty of points from three-point land. Yeah, and what an excellent display of passing in the early stages of this game. A good deal of their points coming directly off quality passes. Now, here is James. He has six. The Lakers with another miss. George outside. There's the three. To the inside. Here's Zubats. And Davis with the block. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. And the bucket is good. James has got eight. And LeBron makes that insane dribble move look so effortless. What a showman he is. Nice shot by George. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Here's Davis. Rebound by the Clippers. Great contest by the defender. But that's a dunk you've got to put down in his face. Pass to Jackson. George for three. Paul George. He's feeling it tonight. He's been the driving force for the Los Angeles Clippers. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. Back. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And before we move on, what do you think about what we've seen from the Clippers? Well, they've really been racking up three-pointers in bunches. They've been so impressive to watch. And that's what has them ahead in this game. Their floor spacing has been just tremendous. James. Westbrook outside. Back to James. To the paint. And finished off by Davis. What a pass from LeBron James. This guy just has a sixth sense for finding the open man. Batum sets a screen. Leonard for three. Sinks the tray. Leonard's gotten a second bucket on the night. Wow, five consecutive threes. This defense looking very frustrated right now. And it's a defensive three-second violation. Grant, it's a shooter's league, and we're seeing more and more big men float out to the perimeter and knocking them down. Well, B.A., the game has evolved, and the shooting, particularly from the bigs, is fantastic. But, you know, I wish the bigs had a little bit more diversity. I don't mind shooting from the perimeter, but every once in a while, go mix it up and take advantage of your size mismatch in the paint. They get the rebound. Out to Achimura. And out of bounds, the Clippers will take it. That's miscommunication, and we rarely see that happen. Timeout called, the Clippers. Played just over a minute of basketball in the second quarter. Pass to George. Let's it go from deep. That one doesn't drop. Now the Lakers take it the other way. 
This game against Los Angeles here, their first look at the Clippers. The three ball. Here's Batum. He buries it from three. Batum's got himself on the board with a three there. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. And Anthony Davis on the NBA's top 75 list. Grant, do you think that was a controversial selection? Well, I mean, it was mostly due to how young Davis still is. You can't argue with the all-NBA selection and numbers. And, of course, being a recent champion may have put him over the top. And that one misses. Yeah, back in the day when I was playing, the Clippers were always an easy win. Now, L.A. is consistently a playoff team. Boy, oh boy, how times have changed. Pretty dime there, the kind of ball movement coaches love to see. Westbrook outside. James outside. Back to Westbrook. Six on the shot clock. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And your last year in the league, the 12-13 season. You played for the Clippers. Yes, I did. And a great team at that. Blake Griffin, CP3, all in their primes. We won the division for the first time in Clippers history. Team record 56 wins. That year was big in the turnaround for L.A. Pass to Jackson. Leonard on the wing. Fires the three. Can't get it to drop. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. James, right side. Tries again. Kicks it out to Westbrook. Hits a three-pointer. Westbrook's gotten four this quarter. Three shot preparation, right? The ability to catch and shoot is there for Russell Westbrook. Leonard for three. Yes, and a nice assist from Jackson. Both teams are starting to find a rhythm here. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. And the foul called on Paul George. That's his third foul of the game. The Lakers call timeout. Robert Covington. Timeout call for the Lakers. Here's James. And James throws it down. Uh, LeBron James knows a thing or two about affecting winning right now. He's cooking offensively. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Thank you, Brian. Well, Paul George has certainly endured his share of criticism in the past, but he said, quote, I can't worry about that. It comes with the job. I am who I am. They can judge me on what they want. I'm going to go out there and hoop and give it everything I've got. And, guys, he brings a lot to the table. No question. He is elite, Allie. Thank you. Hachimura outside. Pass to James. Shot clock at three. Doesn't go that time. Ooh, nice D from George. The Clippers in the lead. Now Leonard. Gets a hand on it. It's good on the putback. Batum's got five points now this quarter. Well, two things working in Batum's favor right there. He's got a great sense for positioning. He's also got size and length. Got a piece of it. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Davis. Substitution to your Clippers. Marcus Morris Senior. 50 seconds left to play in the second quarter. Got a piece of it. And it's the Lakers on the break. James, that's good. Boy, it seems like every shot he puts up, it's going in. This guy is hot. Hot. Pass to man. Leonard for three. Rebounded by Russell Westbrook. The Lakers trail. 
One second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Oh, Covington with a block. So disruptive at the defensive end. Look in the box score, and Covington will be the source of blocks and steals consistently. Norman Powell. 12 seconds left in the second. Back to James. Uses the glass to finish the layup. James has got 16 points now. He's bringing a lot of energy to this offense, not letting the scoreboard discourage him right now. And to me, he's just playing smart, efficient basketball, really helping his team hang around this one. And that concludes the first half. Clippers ahead, leading by seven. And we'll return shortly. And we played through the first half. Plenty of basketball left in this one. Boy, guys, it wasn't too long ago that the Los Angeles Clippers were the worst team in the league. But boy, have times changed. The Clippers are now an attractive organization for some stars. Pass to Davis. The shot no good. And the Clippers will come the other way. They've led by as many as 11. Next up, the Knicks in New York. That'll be the first leg of just a two-game trip for them. George outside. Inside. Here's Zubats. Now Leonard. Hachimura covering. Four on the clock. Gets the three to fall. He's got 12. I mean, a true transformation of the Clippers. They were that team that stars avoided. They were, B.A., but I think that started to change back in 2011. The trade of CP3 to the Clippers. It started this new era. Then the ownership change helped it even further. And in one summer, let's remember, they signed both Kawhi and Paul George. Unreal transformation. The drive by Jackson over James. That went off the back iron and out. Pass to Davis. The shot's good on the assist by James. Davis has got 13. Their offense is really humming right now, and it's because of the beautiful ball distribution. James with the ball. He's picked up by Zubox. The shot by James, no good. Well, uh, he's got to be embarrassed for attempting that one. I, you got to think twice about that next time. And here's Westbrook. Right now, he's contributing about 15 and a half points a game. Pass to George. Over James. Back to George. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's on Rui Achimura. Well, Paul George is a difficult defensive assignment precisely for this reason. He's going to force you into contact. And the Lakers call time here. That's good from George. And for Paul George, playing close to home on a title contending team, it's a tremendous opportunity, Grant. And back with the Pacers, he twice made the Eastern Conference Finals. But without a doubt, this is the most talented team he's ever been a part of. Over to the wing. Pass to Bryant. Outside Schroeder. Here's Toscano Anderson. 
The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. They grab their own miss. Second chance shot. And the layup is good. Toscano Anderson's got his first bucket in this one. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Here's Jackson. Pass to Batum. And again, no good by the Clippers. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. And there's the call on Reggie Jackson. That's his first foul. First team foul. Outside Schroeder. Pass to Bryant. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. Four on the clock. Down low. Here's Beverly. One of the best defensive players in the entire league. Kawhi Leonard. So hard to get a clean look against him. 18 feet out. Goes back up. Now here's Morris. That three's off the mark. And just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. And here's Schroeder outside. And the Lakers hit again from deep. Boy, not sure they want Schroeder taking that shot, but you can't argue with the result. That will give them some confidence from distance. The Clippers call timeout. The Clippers in the lead. As for the Lakers, you think this is the last team LeBron plays for? You know, B.A., he certainly wants to play with his son. We know that. Now, whether that's in the purple and gold, only time will tell. It would definitely be fun to see them both with this storied franchise. Well, just good heads-up play by Batum. Spots the open man, but delivers it on time and on target. To the middle. Pass to Toscano Anderson. Out to Schroeder. Back to Toscano Anderson. Let's the three fly. It's hauled in by the Clippers. They've led by as many as 11. Beverly outside. Here's Bryant. He's guarded by Zubats. Back to Bryant. He shoots it. Misses off the right iron. Two-second difference between shot and game clock. To the wing, right side. Kennard on the wing. And a miss there on the triple. And there's the rejection. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Zubats. The Lakers call timeout. here for the Lakers. For three, James. The shot, no good. 14 feet away. And we've watched three so far in this one. Clippers ahead. They're up by four. And time for a short break. Stay right there. The fourth quarter is coming up next. We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. And here are the Clippers now. They lead by four. Pass to Morris. Oh, 
it's stolen by Achimura. Down low. Here's Davis. Rejected by George. Well, this is what makes Paul George special. Elite two-way plays. And that sending back block sends a message to the offense. I'm here tonight, folks. Here's Jackson. Excellent D there from Davis. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim, but that is a beautiful contest right there. To the inside. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Nice physical play from Davis. Not letting the foul keep him from taking the shot. The Clippers making a switch here. Anthony Davis. Two shots. No good on the second free throw. And the Clippers with the ball. It's a three-point game. Morris. And it's blocked by Davis. Oh, one of the game's great shot blockers. AD's a smart defender who's usually in position to make a play on the ball. Back to Westbrook. Shot clock at six. And James launches it from deep. Westbrook outside. He nails it, and we're tied. There's no one else you'd rather have as that shot clock dwindles than Russell Westbrook. Pass to Leonard. Rebounded by Gabriel. And the Lakers with possession here. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong. No baskets allowed. And finished off by Davis. Russell Westbrook. And yeah, for AD tonight, it's really been a common theme. Just no one out there has been able to match his incredible energy. And we're about two minutes into the fourth now. Leonard attacking. Man. George for three. The Lakers with a rebound. He started out strong. Three threes in the first half, but the long ball has disappeared on him since. And the foul called on Paul George. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Time called here. The Clippers decide to talk it over. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. Guys, over the last break, I listened to Tyron Lue address the team. He wants them to up their intensity. He said, quote, relax in too many areas. If we can muster a consistent effort, we have a chance to capture the lead and never look back. Guys, he sounds very confident playing from behind. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Allie. And there's James from the arc. Connects from downtown. James has got 19 points. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. If you want to cut into a lead, you have got to trust your teammates and move the ball. Here's Hachimura. And the shot goes in. And it's a seven-point Laker lead. They're beginning to take control now, and this could be a crucial point in the game. Well, working hard, building out a small lead, but you can't afford any kind of letdown here. Back to Batum. And Davis with the block. Here are the Lakers with the ball. They picked up 11 straight. Can't get it to fall. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. I'm not sure what happened there. You just can't give away possessions in this league. Pass to Gabriel. For three, Westbrook. And another three for the Lakers. Really encouraging when Russell Westbrook is making that three-point shot because when he does, he's an impossible check. Leonard for three. Batum outside. It's George on the wing. Second chance effort. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. We call that masterful use of the pump fake. Paul George effective getting guys to jump on it. And he's unable to get the second one. You know, he doesn't shrink the lead as much as he should have. That hurts a bit. Inside. Good. And that basket makes him 8 for 14 for the game. 
Nothing left to do but to watch the clock tick towards zero. Nice victory here for the Lakers. This team did a lot of things well tonight. Number one was passing the ball. And it was a team that was in rhythm. And they just trusted each other to take the right shots. And so hard work pays off with their 26th win of the year. And what a huge performance it was for Anthony Davis. His range and timing protecting the rim, he blocked a lot of shots and altered even more. Morris for three. It's good. Set up beautifully by George. Really good job anticipating the rise and fire off the catch. Go ahead, Marcus Morris. And there's the call on Reggie Jackson. That'll be a second foul of the game. Second personal foul. Third team foul. Substitution for your Clippers. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the law. And just not enough time for them to get back in this game. I'll tell you, it's never an easy point in the game. Knowing whatever you do, you're still coming away with the L. And here are the Lakers. They're on an 18-4 run. Here's James. That one drops for him. And the Lakers lead by 12. You got to give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. Well, just terrific teamwork. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. Second personal foul. Fourth team foul. Shooting for Los Angeles. Rui Hachimura. That free throw, no good. Well, you see a high upside with Rui Hachimura. This guy has got to keep improving and meet those expectations. For three, Powell. It's off. And so it's the Lakers easily grabbing this one. It ends up being a fairly easy. Easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy to take a game in someone else's building. And that's going to do it tonight, folks. For